News Network, featuring your host, Maria Merriweather and Ralph the Super Reporter. And now, here's your good news for the day. Hello, friends. I'm Maria Merriweather. And I'm Ralph the Super Reporter. In our top story today, my friend Kenny won first place in this year's sandcastle contest. He built a sandcastle so big that his little sister, Kira, could fit inside. Wow, great job, Kenny. My friend Danny and I built a sandcastle once, but then it got totally destroyed. Oh, I'm sorry. How did that happen, Ralph? Well, Danny and I became terrible monsters, and we stomped all over it. Good thing Kenny's little sister wasn't sitting inside. That would be bad news. Hmm. In another good news story... My friend Susan became a big sister this week when her mom brought home a new baby brother from the hospital. Oh no! Can she return him? Of course not, Ralph. Babies are wonderful. Why would you want to return them to the hospital? They smell funny. Ralph! And they are definitely slimy. Well, I love babies. They drool, Maria, and drool is so slimy. I think babies are so cute. Well, I know I was a cute baby. Hey, you want to see my baby picture, Maria? Uh, how about later? We're supposed to be sharing good news with our friends right now. Okay. In our top bestest goodest news story ever, Ralph was the cutest baby in the world. Just look at that face. Hmm. You were cute, Ralph. I know. Even as a baby, everyone knew that Ralphie baby was special. He could shake his ducky rattle like crazy. Oh, lots of babies can shake a rattle, Ralph. Yeah, but how many still have their rattles? There's my ducky foo-foo. Yay, ducky foo-foo. Shake the ducky foo-foo. Shake, shake my ducky foo-foo, yeah. Shake, I think this is a great time for our good news story from my friend Jesus. It comes from the Bible in John chapter 20, verses 19, 19 through 29 and Acts chapter 1, verses 3 through 11. The disciples were hiding in a locked room because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders who had Jesus killed. Then, out of nowhere, Jesus appeared in the middle of the room. Peace be with you. It's true! You're alive! Jesus showed them the wounds in his hands and side from the crucifixion. I am really alive. For 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples, proving to them in many ways that he was really alive. Once, as they were eating together, he told them, Do not leave Jerusalem until the Father sends you the gift of the Holy Spirit that I told you about. He will give you the power to tell people everywhere about me. After saying this, Jesus was taken into a cloud while the disciples watched in awe. When they could no longer see him, two angels appeared next to them and said, why are you standing around staring at the sky? Jesus has been taken into heaven, but someday he will return to earth. Wow, that was a cool trick that Jesus did. Yep, flew right up to heaven while everyone watched in amazement. That's even better than my ducky foo foo rattle trick. My friend Jesus is amazing. I wonder when he's going to come back. Not until he is done building a place in heaven for all of his friends. I hope he's building me a cool castle like the one your friend Kenny built. I'm sure it will be even bigger and better than Kenny's sand castle. And I promise that Danny and I will not stomp all over it and destroy it. Nothing can be destroyed in heaven, Ralph. It's going to be a wonderful place. I'm really looking forward to it. Me too, Maria. Hey, I wonder if I can bring my ducky Fufu with me. I'm sure Jesus will have something even better for you in heaven than your rattle. Really? Wow. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Maria Merriweather. And I'm Ralph, the super duper reporter, saying over and ouch! Bye, everyone.